Hey, what's going on guys? This is ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today, we are proud to announce that LaunchBox 8.3 has been released. I will leave a link to the changelog in the description. We have added a few new awesome features. Most of this has been improvements to our new interface LaunchBox Next. LaunchBox Next will eventually replace our old LaunchBox interface and this is gonna be for premium and free users, but we need your help. We've created a thread over on the forum, launchbox.next missing features thread. If you find anything missing, anything not working, please head over here and let us know. We're hoping to have LaunchBox Next replace the original interface within the next two releases. Hopefully we can get there, and we can with your help. We just need to find any missing features, any broken features. Let us know over here in the launchbox.next missing features thread on the LaunchBox forum. So first thing I wanna go over here are the new features that were added, and these are really big, and it's gonna make life so much easier for everybody trying to set up RetroArch. We're gonna head over to Tools, Manage Emulators, RetroArch, Associated Platforms. From here, we have added a new drop-down feature in the RetroArch Core section. If we double-click here, we can scroll down and choose the core we would like to use. Now, every core from RetroArch is listed here. You may have to do a little bit of research to find the correct core. This is a great feature for adding new cores to your system. We've also implemented a missing core notification here. So Fairchild Channel F, this is the mess underscore libretro core. I don't have it in my RetroArch folder. The core is missing. It's going to tell you you need to download it. I have everything else though. I'm really digging this feature here because a lot of people have asked me numerous times, what core should I use? What do I need to type here? What's the core's name? Now, all you need to do is choose the drop down menu and choose the correct core for your associated platform or your system. Another awesome feature that we've added is the ability to choose a core when you run a game. Now, you'll have to right click on the game I'm just going to show you an example here. For most of my SNES games, I use the SNES 9X underscore libretro core. But at the very bottom here, I've added another core, the BSNES accuracy core, or the Hygen accuracy core. So there's a few of these games that I can really get by with just using the SNES 9X core. But if I really want to push my system, and get accurate emulation, I will use the BSNES core. So if I want to play an SNES game with a different core, I'm just going to right click, launch with, RetroArch, and then my drop down menu will give me the two cores that I have in my associated platform section. So if I want to run this game with the accuracy core, just choose it here, and it'll launch the game with the Hygen accuracy core inside of RetroArch. and we're up and playing using a different core instead of using the stock SNES 9X Libretro core. Really cool little feature, and I'm super stoked about this because there are a lot of games that I want to test out different versions of cores with, and this is going to allow me to easily do it from within RetroArch. Like I mentioned, a lot of new improvements have been made to LaunchBox Next with version 8.3. We really urge you guys to try it out. If you find anything missing or broken, please report it on the forum thread. Link is in the description. Image groups have been implemented into LaunchBox Next, so we can go up to Image Groups, 3D Boxes, Carts, Screenshots, just like we could with the original LaunchBox interface. We just added them to Next. The game's detail sidebar has been added. You can also turn it off if you don't want it on. You can now hide the sidebar, the left sidebar over here, by going to View, Sidebar, and then we can actually turn it all off, and I think it looks really good like this. If we take a look in the top left-hand corner, we have added the View options and the Tools option for easy access. We no longer have to just go into another menu to get to Tools. So Tools will be here and views will be here. Zooming in and out has been added, just like in the original LaunchBox interface. If your game doesn't have an image, LaunchBox Next will now display a placeholder image instead of no image at all. Makes it look a little cleaner. 
Background image fading has been implemented into LaunchBox Next. The list view has been implemented into LaunchBox Next. Color themes are now available in LaunchBox Next. I have mine set to blue. We just go to Tools, Options, scroll down, Colors, and we can now change the whole color scheme of LaunchBox Next. Drag and drop has been implemented in the LaunchBox Next. If you want to just import a few games at one time, you can just drag them, drop them right on top of LaunchBox Next, and it'll open up the import wizard for you. You can also now add custom fonts to Next. Now there are a few other changes here. I recommend checking out the change log and definitely give this a try. I'll show you exactly how we can access it. It's pretty simple to do. I'm just going to close down Next. If you're running the original interface for LaunchBox, you can always start up LaunchBox Next from here. We've also added a dedicated shortcut inside of the LaunchBox folder. Just find your LaunchBox install folder and find the LaunchBox Next application. LaunchBox.next exe. So you can actually put this on your desktop, create a shortcut, and you can start it directly from an exe instead of having to go into the old interface and start it up. LaunchBox Next is getting better and better with every release and we're shooting for having it fully implemented in the next two to three releases. So keep an eye out for that. I think it's fully usable like it is now. A lot of the most important features have been added, but there's still a few things missing here and there and we definitely could use your help finding any other missing features that we've overlooked. So that's it for this video, guys. We really hope you like the new LaunchBox Next interface. If you could, please give it a try because it will be replacing the original LaunchBox interface very shortly. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I have some links down below to the changelog and the LaunchBox website if you want to check it out. Like always, thanks for watching.